Hello guys, welcome to Plus Equal. Today we will be adding doors and windows to our previous work in Unreal Engine. First thing we want to do, we want a door here, right? Probably the easiest way, we pick this here. We hit Ctrl W to duplicate this object. And now we could scale the object, but don't do that. Here we have options to insert values that will change the size of the object. So don't mess up with the scale here. So let's input something like 100 and maybe 250. Okay, it looks a little weird, but don't mind this. Just change the brush type to subtractive. And you might be asking yourself what this will do. This will create our hole in the wall. Basically what's happening, we have our shape of the wall and we have our shape of the door. And when you create a subtractive brush, it will exclude itself from any other brush that is in contact with. And that will create our door for us. Now what we can do, we need to select the, the brush, maybe change its name to door. Let's push this up. Let's align this. Okay, seems good. Now what we can do is go to content. Uh, because we had starter content here, we, we can go to props. And we should have a door frame. Yeah. Now let's place this here. Okay, okay it could be something like this. Now let's rotate this. 90 degrees. And let's more or less put this on the wall. Okay, we can see that our door is higher than we wanted to. If we go hovering our object, we can see its approximate size there in the middle, more or less. That is 25, 114, and 212. So we should go to our door, and we might want something like 110. Okay, it's larger. And let's, let me, yeah, maybe 20, 220 will do. Let's put this to 10. Now we can just push it up. Maybe 210 will do it. Okay. Okay, looks good. On this size looks good. On this actually looks also good because the size of the wall is 20 and the approximate size is 25. It gets a little bigger to both sides and that's okay. And we have our door frame. Now let's do the same thing but let's put some windows here. We have here also a window frame. It is 94, 144, okay. You know what, we can even grab this. Rotate this 90 degrees. Let's push it a little bit there. Okay. And now let's just add there a subtractive box to fit that size. So let's pick this box here. You can push it without. Let's remember this 94, maybe 90. And 140, 90, 140. Uh, let's put it in subtractive mode. Push it into the wall. Oops, not there. Okay. It's like this. And like this, and there we go, looks good, I think it looks good. Uh, you can see that uh, the shadows are a little weird here, but don't worry about that. What we can do now, uh, we can pick the this brush here and let's call it window. And let's take the door frame, uh, the window frame, sorry. And let's press alt and send it back to the other wall. 
boom we got another window and we can also go here we can duplicate our object by pressing alt and now we got a duplicate and if you press shift and move here we'll move our camera with us here is the other wall and let's give it some space let's put it more or less here in the middle okay maybe it's too close to the wall should have it more or less like this okay let's let's leave it like that we can peek into the <laughs> we can peek into the house like hmm what's happening there tell me your secrets <laughs> we can have maybe a, a wall there in the middle like let's grab this Alt. right there in the middle let's push this size to something like 700 push it there Okay, we can pick this, pick this less here. Let's not worry with this for now. This is not the perfect piece of architecture right here, but it's just to give you a notion of how to use the subtractive brush type and how to add some assets for the from the starter content that Unreal give us. It's just window frame two, window two. Can pass this up. And imagine that I want to push this now until the wall. I can I can I can go to modes, brush brush editing I can grab this surface here and push it until it fits the wall in this case it's passing the wall not good something like that now I can just shift 1 to go back to the placement mode okay I'll, I give this a little tweaks just to look a little more complex but you don't need to do that the only thing that is missing now is build the lighting again. Go here and build lighting only. Boom, there we go. Okay, that looks a little better. If you go here and hit play, you can shoot through the window. And you are supposed to fit on this door, but I think that our character actually looks a little bigger than the door. Yeah, we can't fit. <laughs> we can't fit the character there. Oh my god, that's not good. That's not good, guys. If we want to go inside, we need to fix this. I didn't know that the Unreal guy was so thick. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Put here. Two. Okay. Seems okay? I think that seems okay. Oh, we are able to go through. Nice. So now we can go through. We can shoot to the other side as well. We can shoot through the door. Maybe we should light, build light again. Okay, let's hit play. Okay, it's a little better. We can go inside, see the shadows, very nice. You can go here, and we also have some shadows here. Even though it's not perfect, if you press F11, you can go into full screen mode. If we jump, we can see the light also there. So that's it for this tutorial, guys. I hope you guys learned something new with this video. And in the next one, we will be adding some materials to this. So it's not just this default pattern going around. 
and so we can actually see the difference between the floor and the walls and so on so i see you guys there thank you guys for watching you guys are really the best and i'm really proud of having you here on my channel trying to learn new things so please keep by and i'll promise you that we'll learn a lot more as the time goes by guys see you in the next tutorial until there stay safe thank you for watching